Hey guys, it's me Nina and today I'm back with another video. So, lots of my gymnastics videos have been very popular lately so I thought I'd do you guys another one. They're really fun to upload so I'm glad you guys like them. Sorry I haven't posted in a while but let's just get right on into the video. Let's go! So, if you don't know what hangouts are, hangouts are basically something to help get a better grip on the bar and so you don't rip as much because rips really hurt. So, there's lots of different types of hangouts, but one thing that most people might probably get mixed up with are these. And these are not hangouts, these are called pangas or beginners hangouts. And as you can see, it's too small for me, but this is what they look like. They have no dowel, which I'll show you in a minute. And they're really bendy and you don't need to break them in. You can just use them straight away. But they're very good for if you don't want to rip or something as a beginner. So these are what they look like. I've got these in two or three sizes until I moved up into hand guards. And these are from Gymnastics Express, Manique. And they're kind of false cuddle. But now let's get on to what proper hand guards look like. So I've taken my cut off just so you can get like a better view of seeing the hangouts. So I just got these hangouts last night and I broke them in a bit at gym. I'll talk more about like how to break them in and stuff later on in the video. But these are what proper hangouts look like. So this is what they look like folded and how you should keep them after you use them. And I've got them in sunset orange in case you're wondering from the same brand. So, one thing that you need, it's an essential for hand guards, like some people say that they need, for example, a bookmark when reading or whatever, but you don't actually need that, but you can't wear hand guards without wristbands. So if you don't know what wristbands are, they are oh, these are what wristbands are. So I've got them in blue for my friend that we sort of share. They're so just blue from Gymnastics Express, Armani, whatever you get them from. They're blue and they're quite thin compared to these ones and these are just night ones from Sports Direct. Yeah, you can get wristbands at basically most sport shops. I know some people like the shorter ones but I really like the long ones so you don't get blisters on your wrists and it doesn't hurt as much and I just personally think it feels more comfortable but you can try for yourself but I would definitely go for the longer ones. So these are what wristbands look like when they're on. I'll show you the blue version in a minute. So these are what handguards look like when they're on. These are sunset orange if you were wondering. These are the colour. I got them from the same brand I said earlier. Manique or uh, Gymnastics Express. So these are what they look like when they're on. And this is the dowel which helps you get a better grip over the bar. So sometimes when you first buy your handguards, these finger holes, even though you usually put a size in, they might be a tiny bit small, but that was not the case. So mine, as you can see, fit fine. I can take them out and put them in easily, but they won't slide out. So if they are um, too small, you just get a blade or a scissor and put it in and then share this lever. Not too much and yeah. So, yeah, so you just like shave it around until it fits. So how you can break them in if you're not going on the bars and you want them ready for the next day is you get a spray bottle or some water or like sponge or something. But this is my spray bottle. I was just checking it was spraying around. And you lightly dampen it so that mine still has a tiny bit of chalk on from the other day. But you don't like wet it for you just dampen it so i'm just gonna do that as you can see it's damp and you can do that on both sides but i do have a brick i've already broken them in so i'm not going to do that but you can do them on both sides if you don't going on the bra so just spray spray don't i'm not wet on the other side obviously because i don't want to because i've already broken mine in so i was just doing some swings on the bar and then what you do is that I'll model that. <laughs> you take your see this rubber and you take your grip or 
hang out, whatever you call them. Grip surfing, come American, and hang out, say how English to say them, but whatever. So usually I would put my name on here and whatever else, but I'll do that in a minute. But usually when you first get them, this is what I had to do. I had to pull it through because it was like so straight and then fold it over. But now, because there's broken and I can just do this. And then you get the like strap part and you pull it tight, make sure it's tight, and you wrap it round, wrap it round, and then you lock it like this. So it should look like this and this. So when you first get them and you go on the bars, for example, like I did, um, they'll be like you won't be able to do the skills you did straight away. I'll just break them in more simple on you. Um, like if you're pretty advanced, like I couldn't do math, for example, squat on or baby giants or baby rounds or whatever. I just had to do swings to sort of break them in and back hip circles. Um, yeah, so this is what they look like when they're done. And you also use chalk, which mine is downstairs, but I'm not going to obviously chalk them up. This is what they look like when they're all folded up. And I'll show you what they look like with the blue wristbands in case you guys were wondering right now. So I'm not going to put them fully on since they're still sort of breaking in. But I'm just going to hold it side by side. And as you can see, it's a very cool com color combination. I don't really know which one I prefer. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to get on like other things that I always have. Not necessarily in my grip bag, but for my grips and in my grip bag. So let's go. If you didn't know what a grip bag or hangar bag look like, it looks like this usually. They come in all different colours and sizes. Some people lose the strength, but I haven't. I got this from Wilco's for about a pound, and I got this for pound prices. And yeah, so you can find very more like cheap options, more expensive options and stuff. And mine is just plain pink. And I've not got anything inside it, so I'll show you, but it's just usually a drawstring bag. But um, what I would usually have in it now, I use it for my hand grabs, is a spray bottle, which doesn't really fit in, so I just have that on the side. Some sports tape, in case I get a rip or whatever, I put it around or have myself a buzz. My hand guards with uh, my wristbands, these ones are these blue my hand guards which are these and i'm t probably going to take these out and keep them from memory but i used to have my palm guards and my metal bar stuff but um yeah i'll do if you want i'll do a video about my metal bar stuff but not today because we're focusing on grips so just a quick reminder so when you get your grips and for example you more like putting them on at the gym if you want to scrape off the chalk i don't really do this but you can get a chalk scraper or you can um rub it on like the wire of your bars if they let you i wouldn't recommend i'll just i usually just leave it but you spray it i'm just going to pretend i have them on you spray it spray it you put your chalk on you make sure they're fitted with the velcro and you go on the bar. And when you get a rip, I usually use this tape and just wrap it round. So yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was really fun to make and I'm really excited about my hangouts. And if you want to know how to tape up a rip or how to make tape hangouts, which are just like if you want to see what they'll look like or something, not actually do the bar. I will do that in my next video or whatever video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe because I'm on my way to 250 subscribers. And comment down below if you can. All that stuff again. I love you all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.